Hello and welcome to Buck TV News. I'm Trey Adams with your campus news update. Election day is only a few days away and many political commentators are calling this the most important election of their lifetime. Buck TV News interviewed ETSU students to get their take on the election. Uh, I think um, I think it's looking like Marshall Blackburn's probably going to get it um, just where Tennessee tends to lean right and uh, I feel like it's going to um, I feel like it's going to go that way. Yes, I think President Trump will be able to keep the House in some. I feel like the Republicans will, just with Trump being president and all, I don't think that the Democrats will overtake uh, the House. The four latest polls show former Governor Phil Bredesen trailing Representative Marsha Blackburn by four to nine percentage points. In the governor's race, businessman Bill Lee is leading former Nashville Mayor Carl Dean by 10 points in the latest CNN poll. The polls in our area close at 8 p.m. on Tuesday. ETSU celebrated Halloween in a big way with the Trotter Treat 3K Saturday morning. People from around the area gathered for the event hosted by the Department of Physical Therapy. Formerly known as the Zombie Run, the goal was to make this year's event more kid-friendly while still being a little scary. The rainy weather did not stop participants from entering the event. Money raised from the event will be donated to Marquette Challenge, which is a physical therapy research program. Bucky's Food Pantry is wrapping up its sixth annual coat and blanket drive. The drive is an opportunity for ETSU to give back to those in need in, in the community. There's our sixth annual coat and blanket drive um, just for ETSU students, faculty and staff again. And uh, just, you know, winter season, we want to make sure, especially people who aren't from really the mountains, don't really come here and expect it to be as cold in Tennessee, I guess, sometimes. So we want to make sure that they have that uh, coat and blanket for those really chilly days. Winter wear such as coach jackets, blankets, and gloves are needed. The pantry asks that these items are clean and lightly used. Today is the last day for donation drop-offs. A list of drop-off locations can be found at www.etsu.edu slash food pantry. That's all we have for you today. Tune in on November 16th for the final Buck TV News broadcast of the semester.